the most makes without a miss in playoff history. The best free throw percentage in the game. Carter to the basket. Turn it up. Remember Heather talking to Stan Van Gundy, and he was talking about, hey, we've given up all right, 80 some odd points right, in right. three quarters. When are we going to defend? Well, he's seeing it right now. Johnson from the outside, missing three. Crawford cuts to the basket for wow. two. About the same moment ago, the best free throw shooting percentage that wasn't a 1,000 where everyone was made was 98% of the free throws made by Dallas at San Antonio, 49 of 50. So the Hawks effort was nice while it lasted. Another one? Nope. Lewis off the mark. It'll be Hawk ball with three minutes to go. And Atlanta has scored just nine points in this fourth quarter. Outscored 25 to nine. In game one, in the second and third quarters, the Atlanta offense came to a stop. And that's what we're seeing right now in this quarter. Vince Carter has been spectacular in the second half. He's exploded to the rim. He's made long jumpers. But most of all, his game below the foul line, outstanding. Dwight Howard telling us this morning that this Orlando team was very motivated to do anything to win a championship. And they would not be satisfied with any fool's goal that there would be a residual effect from the Game 1 43-point win, the third largest Game 1 margin of victory. Stan Van Gundy reminding his team that big Game 1 wins have not meant Game 2 victories for teams. And tonight, early on, it looked like Atlanta had forgotten that, left that game in the backdrop. As a matter of fact, QB, they had an eight-point lead, early second half, and then this game turned. Vince Carter, Dwight Howard and company attacking the basket. Well, I like what we've seen from them for the full game. In the first half, Richard Lewis and Howard carried the team. We were looking for the guards. The guards were not making any production. Carter, Nelson, Riddick. But what happened, once Nelson got going, then Carter stepped in, you have four players now for Orlando with over 20 points. Mm. And we know that Richard Lewis has been great at 20, Howard at 27, Carter at 24, Nelson at 20. But the two guards came to life in the second half, and then the defense has been terrific. Al Horford from the outside, knocks it down. Points have been hard to come by for Atlanta. That's only 11 here in this fourth quarter. 15-point magic lead. 2.37 to a 2-0 lead. And to SportsCenter for you as soon as we're done. Vince. The big upset, I think, in this whole game is the fact that Dwight Howard is 13 for 18 on the foul line. Right. Because if he would miss them like he did, in game one, he was only five for ten. You, know, you, you don't know the, how the chemistry goes, how guys are thinking, whether they lose their confidence. But tonight, he made them, and the spirit of the club picked up as you go to the foul line. You feel it in the building. When Dwight misses free throws, here's the building. <sighs> yeah, he great. makes them, and it's like, ooh, damn, yep. great, this is good. And it just feels different here tonight watching him as he's... 13 of 18. That foul was on Nelson, and Crawford has free throws coming. Dwight Howard only has one block. Orlando only has two for the game. Now, when you think about that, that's also kind of an interesting stat. He had five at halftime in game one. Right. <laughs> okay. But his movement in and covering the painted area to discourage you to go to the rim, the intimidation factor has been excellent. He's been working hard tonight. We always laugh at the the stat of shots altered. You can't get into the mind of a shooter who's thinking, I, I, I can't go in there. Right. I can't go in there. And or so, make the pass. Right. So the ones we see altered are legit, but then there are the other ones that you never know. 30 of 31 from the line for the Hawks tonight. Deep catch for Howard. Horford has five fouls. Crawford, as uh, Petrus had no balance, gets thrown to the deck. The foul is called. Well, the Atlanta Hawks will go back to Georgia for Game 3, Saturday afternoon, 5 Eastern on ESPN. And then Game 4 is back in Atlanta, Monday on TNT. We don't know if there'll be a Game 5 on Wednesday night back here in Orlando. And the Magic didn't need to come back in their second round series. They swept Charlotte in four. If they hold on to this lead, up 13 with 2.10 to go, they'll be undefeated in the playoffs. 6-0.
And it kind of the payoff for a great close to the season by Stan Van Gundy's team. Not just the last five they won in the regular season. Here. Right. They ended the year 33 and 8. Yep. Then they went 5 and 0. 38 and 8 going into tonight's game. Uh, would, would we say that they're ending uh, on a high note and playing pretty good basketball? Yes. Horford moves on Howard. He's had a good night. Al Horford with 24 points. I also like the fact that when we talk about Orlando, no team had a winning series on Orlando. That is a big statement to make. They can play with anyone. They are a terrific road team. They beat everyone in the league this year. Howard. Uh, what a terrific game for Dwight Howard. 29 points, 14 rebounds, and 13 of 18 from the line. Crawford, who had it, lost it in this second half. And the Magic fans know their team is going to go up 2-0. We said it at the top, there's a lot of talk of what's going on with the Lakers and their success. Here at the start of the second round, Phoenix over San Antonio. What looks to be a long series developing with the Cavs and the Celtics. Oh, by the way, the team that represented the East in the finals last year is looking terrific here in the playoffs. Travel called on Dwight. Sometimes, matchup-wise, you just don't. And Atlanta's lost to Orlando by 43. Go back through the last regular seasons, 18, 32, 17, 34. Looks like the lotto numbers, not the scores of basketball games. What do we got tonight? 14. Check your tickets. One going to Atlanta, up 2-0. Let's see, Hubie, if this holds up, that would be three of the four series at 2-0 here in this second round of the NBA playoffs. With Atlanta heading home, likely in the 0-2 hole, Utah doing the same, and San Antonio as well. So home court holding for seven of the eight games here in this second round. You see the doubleheader tomorrow, Cleveland, Boston, and Phoenix, San Antonio. And Cleveland, Boston series starting to take on an interesting tone, isn't it? Well, I like, I like what we saw. I like the fact that the Boston Celtics were able to rebound. Mm -hmm. They finally got a big game out of Rasheed Wallace. Yeah, when you say 17, shooting a high percentage, that was a big shot in the arm for yes, that team. So you like what they did. Now it's up to Cleveland. All right, best record, excellent road team. All right, you got to go in there now and at least get a split. All right, I know they're going to say, hey, we're going to go in there and get two. But that has been an interesting series. The Lakers in Utah, the big men, the three big men, Bynum, Gasol, and then Odom have just been absolutely amazing, especially in game two. And yet, your Utah, come on, you, you only lost by five and eight, and you still don't have Otor and Karolinko. We'll see if Karolinko plays in game three. We're heading out to Salt Lake City tomorrow. We'll have that game for you Saturday night in primetime on ABC. Lewis. Magic will shoot over 60% here in this second half as they pull away. Can Atlanta win a game at home? Well, I, I, I think they will. I think that they'll play much better. We, we all know they, they, they play better at home. They're 34 and 7 in that building guy right during the season. And then what they need though, you got to give it 48 minutes. Yep. They, they gave us 36 tonight. But they didn't have it in the fourth quarter. And then once again, the guard play overpowered them, like it did in game one. I told you in game one, the three guards for Orlando, 49 points, shot 51%. Four Orlando players in double figures, scoring over 20, I should say. The Magic outscore the Hawks 28-15 in the fourth quarter. And the Orlando Magic undefeated in this playoff season.